Jeez. So many packs on the floor. Um, hey, it's Devin, Devin's Card House. Uh, I can't, I have no idea what's going on anymore. None, I, no idea whatsoever. I think one thing, and then the uh, the exact opposite thing happens. I have no idea. Uh, I no longer trust myself in any given way. I, you know, the the cats and dogs secret layer was released, and in my head, I'm like, of course, you know, uh, they're gonna print enough for this to last a little while. I did not expect that to go out in six hours. That was that was crazy. And then here we go. Come to find out on Saturday that the next secret layer is also sold out. But um, most of the bundles are sold out. The only secret layer, individual secret layer that's sold out right now is the Beauty of the Beasts. Which is crazy because that means you can't get them anymore. So, because uh, the full bundle's gone, then the other bundle's, uh, the, the other bundle's gone. But the only bundle that still exists is the one with the dossier, uh, the dossier treatments which is like the worst one. So it's no wonder that's still around. But I was just completely shocked because I just didn't think, I I didn't think these would sell out at all. I was almost, I was like, no, um, these are going to make it till the end. I, these got 20 days to go, especially after hearing, you know, I came out with my, uh, kind of what I thought about the secret layers. And I was like, oh, I think they're okay. Like, I kind of like them. And then uh, the professor released his video and it was basically like, these are the worst secret layers that have ever secret layered. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, no. And I, also, uh, I knew the value wasn't there, but then also just reading the comments and seeing how everyone else felt about it. Like, yeah, this, everyone thinks this is the worst secret layer that's ever been printed. So there's no way absolutely no way that this is gonna uh, sell out you know <laughs> and then it sells out i guess five days after four days after because it was released on monday and then it sold out on saturday so you know i guess yeah five days it only lasted what i was like i was gonna make it the whole time like which i don't know and out of all of the ones i you know i really like the art for the beast one but it's crazy because it seems like people must really like that. I also heard a little bit of talk like on a, a, a thread basically that people were like that now you can't get the Scorpion God promos. So if you didn't order, there's no way you're going to get that Scorpion God promo. So maybe my assumption that that promo is going to be really so uh, sought after is actually uh, was a good theory. So uh, it's crazy to me. And I just don't know. And so it's it's weird what we, I'm trying to determine what Wizards is trying to do here or what they're trying because they know, okay, they knew the cats and dogs secret layer. There's no way that I could know and they wouldn't know, of course, right? Like they are, they obviously know that the cats and dogs secret layer is going to be um, well sought after and people are going to want that uh, secret layer. So if I know that, then they obviously are going to know that. So uh, they, but they didn't print enough. They didn't print enough for a day. And then also, so for this one, so they put out one of the best secret layers they've ever printed out, and they short print it. And then they put out one of the worst secret layers they've ever put out, and I, I don't, I wouldn't say they short printed it. It looks like they might have gotten this one kind of right, right? I mean, g giving everyone five days is good. I kind of feel like they should shoot for, have enough supply to last for a couple weeks, you know? That's what I would think. Um, I, uh, six hours is way not enough. Five days, we're getting a lot, it's getting a lot better. I think they should get it up to at least a week, like seven days. I think that gives everyone an opportunity. I think two weeks is good because then um, that's when most people are going to get paid. You know, they have a two week limit. So uh, uh, shooting for at least two weeks in supply is what Wizards of the Coast should be doing, I would think. But then I don't know what they're trying to do. They're obviously testing the market and they're trying to see like what works and d what doesn't work. And the cats and dogs secret lair, it worked, but they didn't do it right because they didn't get enough supply. And then this, I don't I don't know. Why why put out the best one and then the worst one back to back? You know, it kind of makes me think that how they're they're trying to like see what they can push out there on FOMO alone, right? It, could that be it where they're just like, you know, we're going to get everyone in this crazy FOMO phase. And especially after the cats and dogs secret layer comes out, because think about it, that is the best secret layer. It comes out, a ton of people miss it. Even I missed it, which is crazy. But um, they only allowed it for six hours. Uh, they had a bunch of bots. There's people on eBay selling 50 copies of it. 
you know and then um at, right after that then they released the worst one and that's what the you know the professor said it's the worst one and he i think he means value wise of course you know because a lot of the art in here i mean the the beauty of the beast is obviously well sought after and it's got to be because the art because it's definitely not because of the value because the cards in there cost nine bucks at i think at the most i think it's nine bucks which is absolutely insane. So um, I, they could be testing the limits to see like, what can we get people to buy and how much of it can we get them to buy? And using this YOLO model or this um, FOMO model, they're, they're, they can push even shittier secret layers because they're going to be lower, because they're going to be more sought after because there's less supply. And then they're also going to get everything sold out. So they don't have to worry about that. It's kind of crazy. I think that's, that's, what they're doing? Is that what they're doing? They're experimenting on us. They're experimenting on us live. So uh, it's kind of crazy if that's if that's what they're doing. But I mean, I'm, a part of me thinks that everything they do has intent behind it. Nothing is just like, oh, well, let's throw this out and see what happens. No, I think there's actually like, well, let's throw this out and see how the market works. Then let's throw this out and see how the market w works. And then, so it makes me very curious to see what the next thing's going to be and how long it lasts. Um, if this was so shitty, <laughs> so shitty that not you saw my reviews and how I thought about it. I don't think it was. I I liked a lot of the art in these, and a lot of some of them had good value. But um, for the professor's video, and I'm sure the professor has a lot of sway on people um, who probably didn't purchase the product because of his review. If he's going to say it's the worst secret layer, like that means something. So. Um, I don't know. It's just crazy. Like, so they pushed that fancy one, then they pushed this. And then uh, I would like to see, because um, I think that's going to really relate to people that if we have this shitty one that sells out, what happens when they put out another good one? Like, <laughs> you, I, I'm not messing around. The next one that comes out that's good that I want, I'm going to get it that day as soon as they opened. Because <laughs> if these ones can sell out in five days, a good one, I'd have, it's, it makes me think that they're going to sell out even quicker. But then that's when, uh, you know, Wizards is going to turn the dial again. And that's when they're going to have so much stock. It, you know, it lasts forever. But um, like I said, I feel like they should be really shooting for that two week mark. That I think that would be a success if they had enough supply to last two weeks not this uh whatever they're doing so um but it is interesting and i'm really interested to see what uh the secret uh, the bonus cards in them i'm interested to see the next secret layer and how much supply there's a, just a very interesting time to be somebody who likes secret layers and that's uh three of us four of us if you're in the secret layer group you know raise your hand <laughs> Um, so I don't know. Very interesting uh, that they, they sold out so quick. So um, that's it for me. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Like I would love to hear what your thoughts. If you if you're thinking like me that there's some sort of conspiracy afoot, that there's uh, some sort of uh, uh, what's experimentation going on from Wizards of the Coast. So let me know about that, okay? Um, and let me know what you think about Secret Layers. Uh, it was great talking to y'all. I hope you have a great day. And I want to say thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my subscribers. And thank you for just watching me be an idiot on here. So anyways, y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. I have so much shit on the floor. Governor Jesse Ventura, to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? You want to turn into a little fat porker? <laughs> <laughs>